Hi everyone, I'm JD from Willow Band Journals and today I have another thrifting video for you where I'm taking you to this shop called Hunted and it's in this giant warehouse. It's one of those shops that has multiple stalls so lots of different owners run these stalls and they just have a huge, huge eclectic mix of different antique vintage and collectible items so some stalls specialize in a certain area for example books or homewares or art um, or paint or things like that others are a mix of everything like you get one stall that has books homeware art um, paintings all different things together toys um, all different things like it's amazing so I love focusing on the ones that have books. Every single store I go to, I look for the books. And I found at this one, two little golden books that I picked up. One was hymns and the other one was prayers for children, I believe it was called. Um, and, you know, I just like to flip through books and see what they look like inside. I was tempted to get that one actually because it was full of beautiful vintage music paper didn't end up getting it though because I do have a whole drawer full of, at home of music paper. I, coming back now though, I wish, part of me does wish I still got that book because I like the smaller size and yeah, maybe I would, uh, if I had the chance, go back and get that. But anyway, <laughs> um, very happy with the haul that I got. I did share a video of everything that I got while I was in Melbourne and I also did a video for my beautiful members showing a flip through of each of the little golden books that I got from various places in Melbourne. But I think I got two of them from here. I got one called Heidi from another place called Butler's, which I did a flip, not a flip through of, a walkthrough of, a thrifting video. Um, and I'm just trying to remember the other little golden books that I got as well. Um, there was Hansel and Gretel and there was one more. I can't remember now. Anyway, I did a flip through of all of those. <laughs> so this was another one of my favorite shops because they had more vintage ephemera type things. And so rummaging through here, there were a lot of different goodies. Um, I tend to like bundles or packs of things we can get ephemera in bulk so this one I didn't pick anything up from this particular uh, bin but they did have some fun things in there if there was one in particular that really stood out to me maybe I would have got it but they did have some other goodies that uh, I'll show you in a little bit that I picked up <clears throat> but yeah there's lots of cards and postcards and things in here and I was really glad to see that they did have this ephemera because uh, usually I don't find much in the way of ephemera, like a bulk lot like this. Um, usually I, if I do find it, it's just one or two pieces. So over here, there's some more paper ephemera and there was this vintage ephemera pack that I actually wish I ended up getting. I, I put it back. I was umming and ahhing over it. Um, but now looking back, that is another item that I was like, well, oh, I could have got that. <laughs> so, oh, well, that's okay. That's for someone else to enjoy. But what I did get were these two doilies here with the bluebird because I love bluebird doilies. I collect them for personal, for my own self because <laughs> that's one of my symbols. And then I got this beautiful one. Sorry, my camera work wasn't very good there um, with a lady in one of those sort of crinoline dresses and just a really beautiful floral doily as well so I shared those in the video showing the haul so you can see them in greater detail um, and I have scanned those already as well and these are some uh, what are they called bird tucker cards I believe so I would be interested in getting those as well if I had the budget I would have gotten a few of those sheets too but I already have a few of them at home still already um, so I have to I tend to look around a bit first and 
you know, I have to be selective about what I get. I I set myself a a budget and then I have to be selective within that budget. So there's many, many things that I would have gotten. Um, So just because I didn't get them doesn't mean I wouldn't have got them another time. Um, But it's just a matter of what is there at that particular visit, which thing am I going to prioritize over other things? So for example, if they didn't have the vintage ledger or the vintage books that I found, then yes, I would have gone back and picked up that ephemera pack and I would have picked up some of those bird cards. But it was really amazing this time. There were so many wonderful treasures that I found at this place this time. I go every time that I go to Melbourne once a year or once every two years. And some years I don't get much. I I don't find much at all. But this year I found so much. It was great. This is one of my favorite finds. This was a vintage ledger, which is my ultimate find. Like out of anything to find, vintage ledgers are my favorite find because my favorite paper to include in journals or my favorite supply for journal making is vintage ledger paper. That's it. If I just made a whole journal of various vintage ledgers, I'm happy. That would be my ideal thing to make. Um, (laughs) I don't need feature pages. I don't need book pages. Just give me vintage ledgers. A whole journal full of that. I would be in heaven. (laughs) So I picked up this one. The other one was pretty good too, but it didn't have that ledger type of paper. It had just lines. Again, if they didn't have much else, I would have gone back and picked up that other one too, but they had so much. For example, this place, I hit the jackpot. Not only did I get a vintage ledger, but look, the country diary of an Edwardian lady was there. Yay. So excited. And I almost missed it because, you know, it's overwhelming when you go into shops like these with so many stalls and things everywhere. So I just kind of skim glance, but I also found that one of the Victorian flowers. And I did a flip through of that one on my channel just recently, and it's beautiful as well. So, you know, when I go with other people, I tend to just skim things. And um, if I had the time... I would just spend hours in these places and go book by book because when you go book by book, you really do, you know, find treasures that you wouldn't have found when you just skim. And I often find if you take the time to open the book and look through, you definitely find more treasures than if you just skim it because, you know, sometimes the cover does not (laughs) tell you what's inside it could have the most boring cover then you open it up and you find these beautiful illustrations uh so yeah i wasn't able to really go through it all uh page by page or anything but i didn't need to because there were so many goodies so so many goodies um yeah looking through here Sorry, I've got a bit fast camera work there, but you know, there's just so much to look at. So I'm just showing you lots and lots of places. I love this brooch, that blue one with the crystals. Um, I'm always looking out for vintage brooches like that. And one day I, I always say I'll get them and want to build up a bit of collection and find one for me to actually wear as well. So that was a candidate that I might have got that for me to wear. Um, I just, yeah the fast camera work camera work but just showing you sort of the range of shops the range of different items that are around and I'm just hanging around here in particular because I'm waiting beside a cabinet waiting for a lady to come with a key to open it up because inside that's where I found my two jackpot items my favorite items there was that beautiful vintage botanical color illustration book And I did a flip through of that on my channel a little while ago too. And they also had this pack of 60 vintage postcards. And when I got it home, I found out it wasn't just postcards. It was full of antique trading cards, which were even better than postcards. Because I've got a huge collection of postcards. I'm always looking for them. But this was my first time finding antique trading cards. Stunning. (laughs) Daria, I have the box set of Daria already. I've had it for many years now. And 
I love that show. Let me know in the comments if you also like that show, Daria. <laughs> it's one of my favorite shows. Often when I was sick, um, like anytime I would be sick for a week or whatever, I would put on Daria and just binge watch the whole thing. It would be great because, you know, when you're sick, you don't feel like doing anything. That is my sister-in-law. <laughs> uh, it was my sister-in-law and my mum who I went to this place hunted with. So you'll see a bit later footage that my mum took as well. So big thank you to my mum for uh, taking some footage. And she also filmed another video for me at, uh, what's the place called? Market Fair. Market Fair is another place similar to this that has many, many stalls that you can go to. But Hunted is the biggest place that I went to with many stalls. So I think Hunted out of all of the shops that I go to in Melbourne is my favorite. There's Butler's, there's Market Fair. I love both of those, um, but Hunted is the biggest one. Uh, so now this is my mum taking some footage for me while I was paying for my goodies at the counter. And again, you can see the range of items that this place sells. And just wanted to show those blue butterflies that are stunning. Um, so there's oh, lots of jewelry, lots of shops sold jewelry as well. Um, records, um, tr um, what are they called? Like little playing cards. I got some of those from here as well. What else did I get there? Um, just trying to remember. I got the doilies. I got the, I got a whole bunch of books. I got some playing cards and I got that pack of postcards. Oh, I got the butterfly book as well. That giant butterfly book with some gorgeous colored illustrations that I want to go through. Um, and I've, oh, I do have an upcoming flip through of that as well. And yeah, really, really amazing shop. Here I am walking through <laughs> Hunted and I give you a bit of a sneak peek as well at the end of the items that I managed to pick up. I'm holding it all in my arms and it really did feel like the jackpot because this visit I got so, so many goodies. Look at this. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Big thank Bye you guys. to my beautiful patrons who supported me in September. You are wonderful and I appreciate you so much. Thank you for believing in what I do. If you would like to become a patron, my Patreon website is linked down below in the description box and that's where you get access to all my extra videos, including the uh, monthly making a journal series videos, Plus, all my printable kits from my Etsy are on my Patreon for the rubies. And depending on your tier level, there's mail that can be sent out to you, little happy mails or journals uh, and that kind of thing. So thank you so, so much for all your amazing, amazing support and words of kindness and encouragement. It means so much to me.